If you're like me, you have a twin brother named Adam, and you need a replacement on your griddle top. Adam? Go ahead. It's true. All of it. We've told you about how amazing Pit Boss's customer service is, and we put it to the test, and we want to show you the results today. You want to see the results of our experience? Stick around while we dig in. It's true, we've talked about it quite often, uh -huh. wondering for ourselves, hey, Pit Boss has a two year warranty, will they really honor the warranty? At least we haven't wondered that because we've had some great experiences. We've had a lot of you reach out to us wondering just that, and we're here to tell you emphatically, yes. yes. So I have my five burner ultimate griddle. I love this thing, I've used it so many times. And a little over a month ago, I started noticing a little bit of the what felt like some of the, uh, the coating was, was coming off. We reached out to Pit Boss and sure, Enough, they sent us a new griddle top, so we're gonna show you what to do. And in fact, you get a new Ultimate Griddle or a Sierra, this is what you wanna do when you get it put together. We're gonna do the burn off. Right, but we wanna talk about it. We're gonna show you that process. Also talk about kind of an update on the Sierra at my place that has pushing 200 cooks on it now, because here's a spoiler alert, I did also get a Surface for that one, but I wanna explain why. But Brett, let's get this one on, and during the burn off, we'll explain that. Here we go. As you can see here, I wanted to show you a little bit what's going on with Brett's Surface here it was wearing off in just the one spot now pit boss had said to us there were a few units that they recognized especially in this one spot had kind of started to wear so no big deal they they said you know what we got you we'll take care of this and we'll get you a new surface out so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and take this uh, this top off which we recommend two people use it because yes. this thing is heavy about 80 pounds yeah all right and then we're gonna swap it out so quick correction Brett did say that it was 80 pounds it is Actually, 51 pounds I'm more of this. It felt like 80 pounds. <laughs> In fact, it's the heaviest part of the entire unit, which is pretty remarkable. We're gonna go ahead and cut that open. Cut that open. All right, this is what we're looking at. All right, Brett, you ready to unsheath your new unit? Look at that. Ooh, it's got look how nice... smooth that is. It looks brand new. Well, it, it is. is. Yeah, it's. I can feel the soy, the little oil that they put on it to preserve it. So we'll have to get it. So one thing too, uh, unlike a, a rolled steel unit, we see some of the rivets here. Those aren't gonna do anything because it is a coated surface. So it doesn't have anything to do with sticking. We've seen different units look different ways. And this one, Brett, looks beautiful. Amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and get a paper towel. Let's just wipe it down. Then we're gonna do the burn off and initial clean. This is just to kind of wipe this, uh, the little bit of the layer off on there. All right. See a little bit of this oil <laughs> right in there. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get it set up and uh, do a burn off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and line up these pegs, which by the way, we had to pull the pegs off of the previous unit. This was just the surface itself. No extra pegs, but I'm sure you could get them if you needed them. But there it is. In all up, its glory. In all its glory. Now we're gonna move it out. It's yep. fired up. Just start with a little soap and uh, a little soap and water on the griddle surface, and that's it. Now, the burn off is going to do two things for us here once we clean this off. It's going to help with the surface, but also kind of get the rest of the oils and whatnot settled on the bottom. All right, we got it. So we're gonna go ahead and light these, which by the way, it's hard to see the lights lit up there, but there we yep. go. And we're gonna keep it going for 15 minutes. We'll and then it it's gonna be ready to cook. All right, so here it is about halfway through the process. You can see the smoke coming off and out from underneath. That is from the oils and everything from the manufacturer. So that's what we're making sure we're burning off. And then we'll be ready to cook as soon as it's done. All right, we actually let it go a little bit longer because we did still have some of the smoking, which is still coming off from the oils and whatnot, but it has died down a whole lot. So this is ready to kill, and now this is ready to cook. 
is. Look at that surface just <laughs> beat right up. So uh, we're not sure. We, we Brett and I get together. We do several videos at a time. This is our official first cook on the new five burner. Okay. Yeah. And these are actually going to be ready to pull. Yes, sir. Pull, pull them into the bowl. Yep, pull them right back into that silver bowl because all that was there for seasoning. Look at those amazing potatoes. I am this? beyond excited. That's exactly what I was hoping it would look oh like. Oh my gosh, Adam, this is so satisfying. Right? <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, one egg. Two eggs. Ah, 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 ah. Three eggs. Ah, ah, ah. Well, there it is. That thing looks spectacular. It looks beautiful. We talked about it, and even talking with Neil, the Flat Top King, some of the surfaces tend to feel a little bit different. He was uh -huh. saying when he got a new one that the surfaces felt a little bit different. This one is completely smooth, Slick. just like the Sierras that we have. Uh, and speaking of the Sierra, what I wanted to mention is on my Sierra, the one that we've been using for the past year, a little over a year now, mm -hmm. just shy of 200 cooks now, I did also order a new Sierra Surface. I'm excited for that, but also don't quite want to let the other one go. Yeah. I do have just a little bit of rusting in the corners and, very and things little, like that, yeah. very little. Uh, but the middle, I've still been cooking on, and like I said, it's been hard to give that one up. Now, talking with Pit Boss also with that specific unit, that one's a little bit different because that that was the very first unit, or one of two units, mm -hmm. the first, I think, in the United States right. that we were able to get and to, pre and to use. So which would technically be the first in the world. Right, and the <laughs> idea was to run that through the ringer, which we have, like I said, just shy of 200 cooks. Yep. That said, that thing has sat outside. The hood did have some issues, so took the hood off, and I just wonder, man, how long that thing could have kept going. I was excited to get the new one, sad to let the old Surface go, because I still feel like it's got a lot of kicking left. Uh, I'm not. I'm very happy and excited about this new Surface, because I learned the lesson right off the bat by following the instructions, which we agreed was the Pit Boss regular griddle, the, the steel, rolled steel. Rolled, the rolled steel griddle. And so it did say to put a little bit of oil on during the seasoning. It stuck immediately. Yeah. So I had to really scrub that off. So I always, I never felt like I had just the perfect surface right. on that one. This one, that's another thing. We've had these things now for a year. We have learned so much and, so and much. have known we can just trust the fact that you, you, you cook, you clean, and it's ready for the next one. That's and it. the funny thing is with that, through the year, a lot of people have said, okay, now you've cooked on, on different units, what do you recommend? And unequivocally, I can say yes. Yes. <laughs> we recommend it all because we love griddle cooking. Yep. That said, I have no qualms about recommending the ceramic coated Ultra uh, Ultimate Griddle and the Sierra Griddle. In mm -hmm. fact, we're excited for new things coming out. We cannot wait to get more on it. And the last cook I just did on the griddle I was cooking for when I did the walking tacos. Oh, yeah. Uh, did that for my family. Mm -hmm. While I was cooking that meat and I'm looking at that griddle surface, I just had that thought of like, I, there's nothing I wouldn't throw on here. Yeah. There's nothing, yep. nothing. It's it's kind of like with anything, it's a little bit of a learning curve from the rolled steel to the pit boss. So from the black stone to the pit boss, as far as the, using the metal utensils, how much pressure should we apply? Do we have to be extra careful? And we what talked about that. What temperatures should you do? Yeah, off, and we like talked that. about that a lot at first. And if we if I go back and look at some of our previous videos, again, that whole learning process, we've run it through the gamut, and I feel like I'm just as I will just throw anything on here. The only thing I won't use, the only thing I do different is I won't use metal utensils. But metal utensils, we don't, we don't use hardly any oil. In yeah. fact, unless we're doing like a fry, we don't right. really use oil. And cook. they cook hot enough that almost never do I put it on high heat unless we're doing smash burgers. Smash burgers. burgers all over this steak. year, that has been our biggest issue is how many times we're ready to do smash burgers and we left it on a low or medium low, just being used to cooking at the lower temperatures. Yep. Bring that temperature up, you're gonna get, get a great sear every time, but we every absolutely love time. it. Get that Maillard reaction. Right, so this video helped you, gave you an understanding of how good Pit Boss customer service is and just the overall joy of owning a, an ultimate griddle. Yep. And by the way, get ready for some more ultimate griddle videos coming up both here and at the Backyard Diner because yep. we both wanted to use them. We were really helping showcase the, uh, the, the Sierra, Sierra griddle, uh -huh. which you'll see it still from time to time because we love the Sierra. So many of you have the Sierra, but the Sierra and the ultimate cook the exact same. We'll continue to share all of our recipes and cooks, but get ready for some more ultimate five burner action. Yeah, and if, in fact, uh, so many people ask and will say unequivocally, unequivocally, yes, the Sierra and the three burner are the ultimate are the exact same. The Sierra, the reason why it has a better price point is because it is a Walmart exclusive, but the cooktop, all the components, everything else is the same. It's virtually identical. So, man, love that we get to come and do this. If you I enjoy, love that I gotta say unequivocally. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave you 
pertinent information that you need to know about uh, that you may need in, in your griddle purchasing decision, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook or Smash set to release this May. We are so excited. We've got to work with the Quarto Group on both of these. Yes. It has been a dream come true. And it's been, the both have been a, can you say a smashing success? Ah. <laughs> Super excited. <laughs> so if you've heard that sound in the background, it's a cooking day. We've got some, well, I'm not gonna say what we've got on the smoker, but we've but got the a smoker is going. Up. If you do pellet smoking, you know that sound. You love, you love that, that sound. sound. Love Can't it. wait to get at it, but we've got that one. We've got some things we got to put down on the ultimate. Yep, in fact, we're it. keeping it out there. We're going to fire it back up and get to cooking. All right, and with that, we bid you adieu. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.